First, it was predicted to be Oklahoma and Baylor duking it out for the Big 12 title. But after week eight, it's Kansas State that sits atop the Big 12 rankings. Welcome to One True Champion, Kristen Keith, joined by Wendell Barnhouse. It was a Big 12 shakeup in football over the weekend with the league's top two ranked teams being upset. First, it was a 31-30 win for Kansas State over Oklahoma. Now, three missed kicks by Michael Honeycutt proved to be costly in this matchup. Wendell, what does this win mean for Kansas State? Well, it means that K-State's climb up the mountain and the Big 12 has just started. True enough, the Wildcats are 3-0 in Big 12 play, but there's still a lot of meat on the bone for the Wildcats. Four of the six teams that they play have winning records, and three of those teams that they play will be road games for K-State. If K-State wins its second Big 12 title in three seasons, it will have earned it. That brings up our Tweet of the Week. Back in July, the Sooners got iPads to use for their playbooks, and Michael Honeycutt, the Sooners kicker, tweeted out this photo saying that this was the only play that was loaded onto his iPad. Well, that really sounds pretty simple. The kicker has one job to do, and it's just that, kick the ball through the uprights. But you know, hey, if it was simple and easy, everybody could do it, and nobody would miss a kick. Now, the college football gods must be kind of crazy or at least have a sense of humor because K-State missed three field goals and lost to Auburn in September then OU misses two chip shots and gets an extra point block to help the Wildcats win in Norman. Now in the second Big 12 upset on Saturday, fourth-ranked Baylor was defeated 41-27 by West Virginia. The Mountaineers contained the Bears on offense while Baylor racked up a school record in penalties. Apparently Baylor missed the fact that Flag Day was celebrated back on June 14th. I mean, wow. 18 penalties, 215 yards, school and Big 12 records. Six of those Baylor penalties were for pass interference as West Virginia's Kevin White and his fellow receivers really did what they wanted. But credit, first-year defensive coordinator Tony Gibson of West Virginia. A 3-3-5 scheme not only did the defensive backs negate Baylor's passing game, but the mix-and-match coverages and blitzes kept Bryce Petty off balance. Here's a look at the complete Big 12 results for Week 8. The league has been turned upside down, and with so many solid one-loss teams, Wendell, what does it mean for the league in the college football playoff picture. Well, basically the Big 12 is down to three teams with one loss, K-State, TCU, and Baylor. TCU's loss came against Baylor, but K-State has to play TCU and Baylor. So the simple fact is that only one of those teams can finish with one loss and thus be in contention for one of the four playoff spots. Let's take a look at our Big 12 standings going into week nine. It's Kansas State, Baylor, Oklahoma State, West Virginia, and TCU to round out the top five. Now, Wendell, what are some games that could determine who sits atop this leaderboard at the end of the season? Well, as we mentioned, there's three one-loss Big 12 teams in the college football playoff hunt, but there's a chance for the Big 12 championship that involves five teams. K-State is undefeated, four teams have one loss. Now that foursome will get trimmed to three when West Virginia visits Oklahoma State Saturday. Now here's some games to look forward to, and notice that K-State has three challenging road games left at TCU, at West Virginia, and at Baylor. And that West Virginia game is a Thursday night game, which means Morgantown is really going to be geeked up. And Thursday night games can be kind of wild in college football when a ranked team comes to town. And after this weekend, we've seen how wild Morgantown can get. All right, that's the wrap for One True Champion. Thanks for watching. For Wendell Barnhouse, Kristen Keith, we'll see you next week.